is this is like this is a rematch. This is literally the rematch of last week's finals in the semifinals. So this is this is definitely exciting. And I, 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 dude, I don't know, man. I mean, our all dream team is a little bit afraid of of RMD. I'm not particularly sure about this RMD. Uh, exactly, but RMD in general, I know that they do have a hard time up against RMDs, and that RMDs are pretty scary for Rogue Lock Druid, but uh, we're just going to see. Looks like we're going to be jumping into our first map of the series. This is a best of five, keep in mind, and the map is going to be... I'm not even going to say it, I'm just going to play it. There it is. Play it, man. Oops, sorry. Let me make sure this is off. All right, there we go. So it is going to be on Tolveron Arena, and we are going to have the sub in Danny Carey. Ooh. I believe he's competed in some uh, some tournaments. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure I saw his name around. What do you think? Yeah, I've heard I've heard a lot of things about Danny Carey, but yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna see how how this turns out. So it's going to be Danny Carey going up against Nesper Maldiva and Pink Rangers, the dynamic duo. But I mean, Dilbadar, the legend. Uh, Valorant, a solid, solid Frost Mage. We definitely saw his potential in the last games. This guy knows how to set up with his partners, and uh, but I I'd like to see how how Danny Carey's playstyle is. I feel like um, Greg Plitt definitely had a solid understanding of when it is he needed to go offensive, when it is that he needs to be in a good position. So it's going to be interesting to see here. Uh, so, uh, there's an invisibility coming out for Valorant. Ooh, they're coming in as a team in Shroud. Sap goes out into Danny Carey. Cheap shot onto Dilbadar. Solid opener as Nesper is using his adrenaline left. Triple fear, though, coming out from Dilbadar. Solid, solid move. Pink Ranger now taking a little bit of damage as the full bash comes out. Looks like he's going to be the kill target for now. Whoa, the Barkskin being forced. He's being, wow, lots of CC going out as he... Uh, he displaces away. I'm just tripping over my own words, man. That was a crazy opener. I think that the uh, the I am the Dilbadar definitely got the uh, the better uh, end of that exchange. One thing you notice is RLD is just trying to get their dots up here. That's one of the most important things about Rogue Lock. But it looks like uh, like like I am the Dilbadar playing as if they were RLD. I mean, everybody was taking damage at one point. Everybody was just kind of rotting, which is a little bit weird. Nesper looks like he's going to be the target here. Nesper is going to be able to be topped off by Pink Rangers, just doing a really good job in, in topping them off. And it looks like both teams are just going to be able to sit at 100% health, just waiting for cooldowns, waiting for CCs, waiting for the setup and the window that they need in order to secure a kill. But it, it is pretty early on, and, and once again, like we can need to say about this RLD is once RLD gets deep into dampening that is exactly where they want to be but you know team Dilbadar just they, they did a really good job uh, of, of bringing it back uh, up against a lock druid um you know, up, up into the late game, so that was pretty sweet. The full bash is going to go out into pink ranges there. Is he going to be able to get a cyclone to follow that up? Maldiva is going to be put into that sheep there, but not going to be able to get a polymorph off. Barlin is going to get put into that DR fear there. Dilbadar is, was sitting a little bit low. Nesper started to take a lot of damage. Silence is going to go out into pink ranges. Could this be it for Nesper? He's spamming fate, trying to do everything he can to stop some of the damage that's coming in. Are they going to have something for pink rangers to follow the CC up? But it doesn't look like it. He is going to be able to get the nature swiftness on to Nesper, and they are going to get a DR poly onto the pink rangers there, but it, it's just not going to be enough. Yeah, they're pushing in here. I really like that. Something that they need to do. Danny Carey now in a full kidney shot. That's where just spreading the pressure around. 60% on Danny Carey, but he's not even barks getting just yet. Uh, Howell goes out in both the DPS, and Danny Carey is solo at the moment. Uh, they come out of the CC as Dilbadar does a great fear, getting Pink Rangers and Nesper. Looks like the kill target's going to be Pink Rangers again as he goes into a Horrify, trying to start and he take a little bit of damage. Uh, lots of damage going out into Pink Ranger actually as he gets bashed. Barkskin is coming out, but Dilbadar now taking some damage as he's put into that Garo. Uh, Pink Rangers doing his best, just st sitting in that bear form. He displaces away, but Valorant's there to find him. Out of, coming out of that silence, he gets stunned, but is it going to be enough? At the moment, Orb coming out, Pink Rangers could be in trouble here. It could be this ri right now. Dilbadar's still not able to connect yet, as he is going to be slowed by Nesper. Looks like Nesper's going to be taking a lot of damage from Dilbadar at this point, and they're just looking for opportunities to get defensive cooldowns from this Roglock Druid team. 
Yeah, definitely. And that was a really, really close call onto Dilbidar there. Also a close call on the Nesper. They're, both teams are really doing a really good job in getting a lot of the offensive pressure out. Now, Diva just trying to get his dots out, not doing as well as he was yesterday. Hopefully, he's going to be able to do a little bit better. Danny Carey is just doing a really good job in dispelling those UAs off of them, um, taking a little bit of damage from, from those from those dispels, but not enough, not as much as it was in Missa Pandaria. The double fear is going to come out from Dilbidar. A really good fear again. He's just getting really, really good fears this tournament and last tournament. Uh, Pink Rangers is going to be put into that slam spell. Diva is going to put the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the Dark Soul up, and he's going to try to spam out as many as many dots as possible, as many haunts, to try to get as much damage as possible. Dibbledar is going to be put into that full kidney there, going pretty low, but the NS is going to come out from Danny Carey, and that is going to be enough to talk his, top his team back up. The Tranquility coming out, trying to top his teammate up, but Dibbledar is still taking a lot of damage here from Nesper. Nesper is going to be uh, using that killing spree there, but Dibbledar is going to be able to be at a, at a healthy state. Yeah, I feel like these killing sprees aren't really getting enough out of this team, but I mean, they're coming up so often, so does that actually matter? Nesper now at 70% health here. Looks like he's going to be okay for now as Dilbadars is constantly taking the pain train from Nesper's little gnome here. Uh, uh, Dil Dilibu still at 50% health here. So Cyclone goes out, but it does not land. Sheepshot goes out, uh, but Nesper gets feared, and a Polymorph on the Maldiva. Full Polymorph on the Pick Rangers, and Nesper gets into a Horrify. Lots of damage coming out, but isn't going to be enough. Doesn't look like any amount of damage. Oh, Orb coming out now. Is Where's the damage going to go on? Looks like it is going to go on to Nesper as the Deep Freeze goes on the pink ranger nesper now uh, he's in an orb and has uh devouring plague on him but uh both of all three of the uh i am the dilbadar the legend team are all at half health just rotting away from maldiva's dots yeah, this is starting to get pretty scary, and pretty soon Dampening is going to start. Dilbadar is sitting really low here at 5%. The Disperse is going to have to come out there, and uh, Danny Carey is going to be able to top, uh, get some health onto him there. The NS is going to come out on the Dilbadar. Dilbadar is going to be put in that full kidney. This is pretty scary for him. Danny Carey is going to be put in that full Cyclone. Dilbadar doesn't have Disperse anymore as he just used it. Nesper is going to be peeled off. The Fear is going to come out from Dilbadar. Really good Fear, really good peels, but uh, Varlin was trying to get those Polymorphs off, and, and it kind of overlapped a little bit, which could be a little bit of trouble for them in, in, in the long run, but Varlin is going to start being uh, taking a lot of damage here 50 percent the ice block is going to have to come out 24 percent he cold snaps and the ice block is going to come out there and uh he is going to sit that ice block um and dilbadar is going to be put in that full grow just a lot of pressure coming out from this rl dream team uh we are two percent of the dampening and it looks like uh, i am the dilbadar are starting to fall behind already yeah, absolutely. We're 3% in the dampening, but it feels like we're in 20% in the dampening. Those killing sprees come up so often, they get such good efficient trades. Dilbadar's team really needs to find an opening, really needs to find an ability to, to get some of these defensive cooldowns from this team. But uh, Dilbadar, 54% here, as the game is just getting deeper and deeper into the dampening, and they're losing their advantage. Nesper now, really, really low, as he has Devouring Play and Orb coming out. Full Fear goes out on the Pink Rangers and Maldiva. This could be some really good cooldowns out of Nesper. Nesper now, uh, in a bomb on Dilbadar. Dilbadar could just go down right here. Uh, looks like nothing quite yet. That was the Killing Spree, and he could go down 5%, 1%, and the Killing Spree is just going to take that... Uh, just going to ensure that death. But, man, I feel like the Killing Spree always... I mean, like, two killing sprees come up in the amount of time that, uh, that Disperse does. So, like, as long as yeah. he has those killing sprees, as long as he's getting them out efficiently and keeping that 100% uptime, he's always going to be able to ensure that Dilbadar isn't going to have his defensive cooldowns. It's, it's yeah. hard. It's very, that, very that's difficult. The thing, that's the thing, man, about um, combat rogues is that the more you spam of Rizzerates, the more you spam finishing moves, is is the, the faster you're going to be able to get to your killing spree back. And so if he's able to get those those. Uh, those finishing moves off on the Dilbadar, the, the faster the better, you know, there he's going to be able to have a killing spree up before Dilbadar has dispersed up. And so that that is a lot of trouble for Dilbadar there. But, you know, Varlin is going to have to try to spam with some more polys, maybe maybe get some more CCs or, or I, I don't know. I don't know what they could be doing better. So the next map, guys, is going to be on the Ruins of Lordaeron. So on Ruins of Lordaeron, I feel like it's a smaller map. Maybe it might make Pink Rangers a little bit more vulnerable to CC. Maybe a little bit more vulnerable to, like, say, hard switches. But we'll see here. Let's see what they're going to do with this map. So it looks like... Um, looks like Maldiva is running the regular pet. So maybe he would be more vulnerable for that, that, that pet for dying. I'm not sure. But um, 
Jumping right in here, I'm going to go ahead and follow Nesper out of the gate. See who's going to sap, see who's going to go on. Right away, Maldiva gets a gate in the middle of the map. Um, and Shroud is coming out. Let's see here. Not sapping anyone quite yet. I think he wants to get this sap on Danny Carey. Full sap goes out into Danny Carey as Dilvidar is the opener. He trinkets that cheap shot and fears both Pink Ranger and Nesper right away. I'm not sure if Pink Ranger should have been pushing in like that. Uh, um, there's uh, the adrenaline rush coming out of Nesper as Dilvidar goes into a kidney shot. Uh, he looks like he's going to be fine right here, and I really am liking the positioning for I am the Dilvidar so far. Yeah, the full blind is going to go on to Danny Carey, just trying to put some pressure out and trying to force that trinket from him, but it looks like he's just going to be able to sit it. Are they going to be able to get a sap onto it, onto Danny Carey out of that? But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to. Maldiva taking a lot of damage here. Polymorph is going to go out to Pink Rangers. They're just trying to CC him, trying to secure the kill on the Maldiva, sitting at 30%, but the NS is going to come out before the silence, so that is really, really good. Uh, but the silence was just... just... 0.1 second too late. Maldiva is still going to be taking a lot of damage here. Is at 60%. Is he going to be able to be topped back up? The Polymorph is going to go on to Nesper, which is really good. I think the one of the most important things when finding a, a rogue lock is just CCing the red buff. But the full fear is going to come out for, onto Nesper from Pink Rangers. The DR uh, clone is going to go onto Nesper, but he trinkets that, which is a little bit questionable. The Howl is going to go onto Danny Carey. Full kidney onto Dilbadar. This is going to be a lot of damage here, but the killing spree is just going to fade, and it's it's not going to be as much damage as I thought it was going to be. Dark Soul is going to come out from Maldiva, just trying to get as much dots out as much pressure out as possible early game so they they can kind of get them into uh you know maybe a defensive position here uh, before um before it gets too late into dampening. Varlin going to be put into that full cycle, and they're just kind of trying to stop some of the heals from Danny Carey, so they are able to 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 set up and and, and bring more damage onto Varlin. Polymorph is being spammed out by him on the Nesper, just trying to see that red buff again, and it looks like we're just going to try to wait for that window. Yep, looks like a Dilbadar now going into a kidney shot. He's taking a decent amount of damage here, but nothing significant yet. Pink Rangers was in that deep freeze, nothing to follow it up. Looks like just a uh, trading blow for blow here. Just both teams looking for their setup. Maldiva now into a Horrify, into a Bash. He trinkets the Bash and uses his own Horrify. Only gets Dilbadar though. Cyclone going out into Nesper, but it is D DR. Uh, another Cyclone. They're just really trying to control Nesper as much as possible. That was the orb, but not a lot of damage is coming out. Dilbadar now going into a DR kidney shot, and both teams just. Ooh, there is the killing spree coming out as Dilbadar taking a lot of damage. Iron Bark goes out into Dilbadar and a Nature Swiftness to ensure that this killing spree doesn't get too much. But Nesper now taking some damage. Um, doesn't look like anything's coming out. Uh, yeah, Nesper looks like he's going to be fine now as Pink Razor does put that Iron Bark on Nesper. But, I uh, mean, you can already see the team starting to rot from the from Maldiva's dots here. Dilbadar taking some damage. He's at 50% health here. Full triple fear comes out from Dilbadar. Sick fear coming out of Dilbadar. I love those plays. Maldiva in a Horrify out of that. Full poly followed up onto Pink Rangers. He Huge damage coming out to Maldiva. Doesn't look like anything's coming out yet. I just love seeing that. I think that's the combat storm coming out from the mage. 40% health as Pink Rangers it does get into a silence. Devouring Plague on Maldiva. Is this going to be it? Nesper getting cross CC'd. 20% health. 30% health. Maldiva looked like he's going to just try to turtle up. Get with Pink Rangers and he's going to get NS healed to full. That was a huge NS coming from Pink Rangers right there. I mean, they, if they had the CC to follow it up on Pink Rangers, uh, I mean, Pink Rangers still has his, his trinket there, but, you know, he, he was able, he knew he had the NS, and he knew that Maldiva wasn't going to be able to take enough damage for them to secure the kill, so he, he kept it there, which is going to be good uh, in a little bit, because uh, when you think about it, uh, a trinket is, it does have a long cooldown. It's a two-minute cooldown, and so if they're able to get another CC chain onto Pink Rangers, it could be it could be detrimental towards RL Dream Team, but Nesper is going to be putting that full clone into a DR uh, fear there. The Disarm is going to go onto Maldiva. The Deep is going to go onto Pink Rangers. Are they going to be able to get a poly to follow it up? It does not look like it. Maldiva is still taking a little bit of damage, sitting at 70%. The Silence <laughs> is going to go out onto Pink Rangers. A lot of them just taking damage here. Maldiva is at 50%. Is it going to go down? Do they have anything to follow it up onto Pink Rangers? It does not look like it. Uh, the Cyclone actually is going to come out but it's going to be a little bit too late the iron bark is going to go on to maldiva and he is going to be be safe Something to note that Maldiva is doing is solid. Every single time uh, like an orb or a combat storm comes out, he runs at Pink Rangers. He's getting that AoE damage towards his healer so his healer can avoid those polymorphs. It's a, definitely a solid play coming out of Maldiva. Nesper now going to a Bash, taking a significant amount of damage here. Out of a Horrify, Deep Freeze going out into Pink Ranger. Triple CC coming out from this uh, this God Comp, but it looks like Nesper's going to be okay for now. As I said that, a full poly goes out into Pink Rangers, but a full blind on to Danny Carey. Danny Carey ends up trinketing it as... 
Dil Dilbadar's taking some damage. He does have an Iron Bark, but a triple Howl coming out from Maldiva on all of Dilbadar's teammates. Dilbadar now at 50% health here. Nesper taking a little bit of damage, but nothing significant. Full half poly goes out on a Nesper, trying to peel his team. Uh, Valorant doing a great job preventing that damage. Every single time I see a Kidney Shot go out, I see a poly go out. Maldiva now taking a lot of damage at this is Orb. Uh, Pink Rangers just trying to get into a better position, sitting in bear form, avoiding those polymorphs. Maldiva looks like he's going to be fine for now as he does get Iron Barked. Yeah, so both teams, uh, it looks like we're going to start getting into dampening here. And this is where all Dream Team is going to start doing a little bit more pressure. And they're going to start looking a little bit more scary. The Triple Fear is going to come out from Dilbadar there, which is a really good fear. Uh, and, and it looks like Nesper is going to be disarmed as well. Uh, <clears throat> Maldiva is going to be having the Dark Soul up, trying to get as many dots out as possible, trying to get the Haunts out, just to scare them just a little bit more. And everybody everybody just has dots rolling on them. I mean, Varlin has dots rolling on them. Danny Carey is going to be trying to do his best to dispel those dots. But it, uh, luckily... You know, in Mist of Pandaria, dispelling those dots was really, really scary, but it's not as scary anymore. Uh, Nesper is going to start taking a little bit of damage. The full kidney is going to go out to Dilbadar. They're trying to bring the damage back from Nesper onto Dilbadar there, but it looks like it's not going to be enough. A full Cyclone is going to go out to Nesper, just trying to CC him, just trying to give Danny Carey the time that he needs to top his team back up, and it looks like they're going to be at 100% here. Maldiva taking a little bit of damage there, but not, not so much. Yeah, fear going out to Maldiva. Um, not not the pa the patented like awesome Dilbadar fears. Orb coming out here as uh, Maldiva is horrified. Not too too much damage is going out as Dilbadar is put into a full kidney shot. But mind you, as the game slows down, full sap goes on to daily carry, and that forces the the disperse out of Dilbadar. I like that preemptive disperse. I think that was the right move. Danny Carey coming out of that sap nair, trying to get those healing out uh, onto Dilbadar. But as as this game slows down, oh, wow, triple hell coming out of Maldiva. Great play by him. As this game slows down. We're at 10% dampening at this point, and the advantage is just stacking up for this RLD. Uh, Dilbadar still taking some damage from uh, Nesper this whole time. Full kidney shot coming out. Doesn't like too, too, too much damage is coming out of Nesper just yet. But Valorant always looking for those kidney shots and always trying to follow him up with a polymorph. I love that play by Valorant. Full polymorph goes out into Maldiva, but it looks like he's going to pop his Dark Soul, try to get the offensive pressure, even though he already has it. Dilbadar at 50% health, and another triple howl comes out of Maldiva again. Valorant at 50%, Dilbadar at 60%, and Danny Carey at 60%. This is a tough match for this god count. Uh, Dilbadar now at 37%. Horrify goes out on the Nesper. Is there anything to follow it up? Pink Rangers is in a silence and on a polymorph. Nesper taking a lot of damage as that is devouring play and orb. Deep Freeze goes out on the Pink Ranger and that's a bash on the Nesper right now. You can't spam faint. There is the Iron Bar coming out for Nesper and uh, he's getting those faints off Dilbadar now in a lot of trouble. He's at 37% health there. He does trinket that kidney shot as Smoke Bomb is coming out. He's trying to get back in line instead of his healer. Danny Carey though goes into that full or Cyclone as Nesper's using his killing spree. This could be it right here. 46% health. Danny Carey gets out of that Cyclone and gets that Nature Swift and stuff. So Dilbadar's going to be okay for now, but they're still sitting so low. 17% dampening, and Maldiva is just doing so much pressure. Yeah, and so once again, just Varlin trying to spam the polys out, trying to peel for his teammates, which is really good. And it looks like Danny Carey's team is going to be able to to top themselves back up here. Actually, Varlin taking a lot of damage here, trying to get the polymorphs out. Polymorph lands on a Maldiva there, which is really, really good. Spamming those polys, trying to CC so he can uh, save Danny Carey some time to top him back up. The cold snap is going to come out, and Varlin is just trying to be safe here. He, you know, he doesn't want to get too low, and he wants to be able to have his block up. Uh, Dilbadar is is taking a little bit of damage here, but uh, Danny Carey is going to stop being, um, you know, CC here and is going to be sitting at full health trying to top his team back up. RL Dream Team we are is in a really good position here. We are 21% into dampening now. Full Kidney is going on a Dilbadar. Are they going to be able to CC Danny Carey? Dilbadar is taking a little bit of damage. I don't think they're going to be able to CC him. So, I mean, a CC for that would have been really, really scary for, for Ion Dilbadar. Yeah, I think this is what they need to do. These guys need to pull it back, bring it into the room there, and force Nesper to overextend. Um, if, if Nesper wants to ride Dilbadar like this, they need to force Nesper to overextend and really get those defensive cooldowns. They gotta do something. We're at 23% dampening here, and the Roguelock Druid Dots are just disgusting at this point. Valorin, 50% health, goes into a kidney shot. Does he have a blink available to him? He does. Uh, the Howl goes out into Dilbadar. Not too, too significant, but Valorin taking a lot of damage out as he's the only one that isn't in the room. Uh, I just want to see these guys set up so, so bad. Uh, but Valorin may need a block here at any second as he's sitting at 20% health here. Dilbadar also taking a lot 
lot of health. Uh, a, a, a very, very low health. Maldiva looks like they're going to be the kill target, but already getting iron barked from Pink Rangers as Pink Rangers is constantly swapping to that bear form. But he gets polymorphed anyway. Uh, killing speed coming out for Nesper. Dilbadar could just go down, but his disperse is back up just in time. Full uh, half polymorph goes out onto Pink Ranger. Do they have any damage? Yet? But Dilbadar is just so, so defensive. Uh, cheap shot onto Danny Carey. He's running out of mana, and they're in 28% dampening. Every single time the CC goes out onto Danny Carey, he is just struggling so much to keep his team offensive. But at the moment, they're just sitting back trying to look for a setup. But Valoran staying out in the open, he, I think they want him to go on Valoran. They want to avoid the, the CC on the Dilbadar. I think that's the right move. I think Dilbadar needs to be the one to, to set up his damage. Valoran defreezing Pink Rangers as Evasion coming out for Nesper. Not going to do too, too much as this is a wizard cleave. Maldiva at 80% health here. I think they might want to go Maldiva shortly here, but is that the right move? I'm not sure. Dilbadar now in a full kidney shot as Nesper does get polymorph, but he trinkets it uh, or actually gets broken. Pink Ranger now in a full polymorph, but no damage coming out. Dilbadar taking a crazy amount of damage from Nesper all game long. DR Poly goes out into Pink Rangers, but Maldiva, man, Maldiva's getting low. Yeah, Dilbadar's getting really low, and he's actually just gonna go down there. Maldiva what, got got pretty low there, and and they just didn't, they weren't able to. Was that to killing have spree? Time to to secure the kill. No, it wasn't. It wasn't even killing spree. Yeah, that's a, that's the thing about RLD, man. Is they just wait late in the dampening, and, and the dots from the warlock just kind of just just kills everybody. Yeah, man. So that is going to be the second match for this RLD Dream Team. They're going to take that one. This is a best of five, but one more game. If they if they take one more match, man, that's going to be it for this uh for this team Dilbadar. <laughs> the third match of this best of five series is going to be on Tiger's Peak. Um, not everyone is joining, unfortunately. I'm not sure what's going on here. I, I trying see to get... everybody. Oh, okay. Might be on my end. Oh, that would suck. I'm going to slash reload. Okay. And man, it looks like we actually have a, a pretty known mage here. Pretty, pretty known mage. I think, uh, people, are mage? Gonna be, I think people are going to be pretty excited. Who to is see this him guy? Eat. One of the rink one mages, man. I don't even know who this guy is. Who is he? <laughs> I haven't I haven't seen him play, but I've seen him uh, being talked about a lot how good of a mage he is. Alright, so we got Ty Milla here We're running in with Dilbadar and Danny Carey, a god comp facing Maldiva, Nesper, and Pink Ranger. Maldiva does get the port off, even though he gets a Nova. Uh looks like Ty Milla might be the kill target for this RLD Dream Team, but so far, um, uh, it's it's not very oh Danny Carey goes into a cheap shot Dilbadar into a Garo full blind and then Danny Carey is there any pressure this is adrenaline rusher here so this could be some decent damage on the Dilbadar right now this is that Danny Carey is choosing to sit this full blind yeah Dilbadar is going to be getting pretty low here they're just trying to set up a, a, a nice setup to you know to, to get a really good burst out and just to try to scare Pink Rangers uh, Pink Rangers hasn't had to to use his trinket yet but it looks like he might get the orb out but I spoke a little bit too soon it is going to get locked Tamilia is going to be put into that fear there but it is he is going to be trinketing that actually uh, Dilbadar and Danny Carey and Tamilia actually all are just taking a little bit of damage Maldiva just trying to get as much dots out as possible just trying to wait for dampening here because that is the 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 name of the game for for all all dream it is just waiting for dampening the killing three is going to come out from nesper while dilbadar is stuck in that full candy but it's not going to be that much damage a little bit uh a little bit questionable for the killing spree there but i think if he uses killing spree right in the oper it is actually good because they are he is able to to get the abyss rates off and a lot of the finishing moves to be able to um renew his his killing spree a little bit earlier so i don't think it's that bad to use killing spree out in the beginning like that yeah, especially when it has such a core, short cooldown. Every single time you spend those combo points, you are reducing that time on Killing Spree. Nesper in that Horrify. Pink Rangers goes into a full ring as Nesper's in a bash. He could be in trouble here. He can't use his faint in this bash. Looks like he's going to be okay for now. Not too, too much damage going out. But as they say, that Pink Rangers gets followed up with a DR Polymorph into a full fear. Nesper could be in trouble here. He's at 69% health and hasn't used faint yet. Here's the Suns coming out from the mage. He's at 60% health here. Maldiva getting silenced. Now he's taking a lot of damage as he's at 40% health. Nesper in a Cyclone keeping him a little bit low 30% health Ironbird coming out from Maldiva but man uh, you can already see a difference in the in this team 
Uh, Dilbadar now taking a little bit of damage from Nesper as Pink Ranger goes into a deep freeze. Nothing to follow it up just, just yet. Uh, but, uh, it looks like everyone's stabilizing for now. Pink Ranger going into a full polymorph, but no damage quite yet. Horrify onto Nesper. Is there any damage out of that? Doesn't look like it just yet. There's a Devouring play. A lot of damage coming out from Dilbadar. Uh, Ty, though, in a full fear. He does get dispelled out of that a little bit later on into the fear, but both teams stabilizing, and his Godcom's looking for another setup. Yeah, Maldiva started to take a little bit of damage here, just trying to reduce some of that damage as much as possible. Nesper is going to bomb actually on Dilbadar here. He, Dilbadar is going to have to uh, bring the trinket out because he is just, it, it's a little too scary. Uh, Nesper is going to be put into that full polymorph, but it is going to be dispelled from Pink Rangers. A uh, good part on Pink Rangers right there. Uh, Maldiva is going to start taking a little bit of damage. Full clone goes on to Nesper there. Pink Ranger is going to be put into that deep. Is he going to be able to get the poly? No, he, the poly is going to be locked out there. Uh, but the silence is going to follow it up onto Pink Rangers there. Maldiva taking a little bit of damage in that bash there he is going to come out of that uh, pink rangers is going to have to use the iron bark onto maldiva just not wanting to, to to risk all that damage that's incoming the dark soul is going to come out of maldiva just trying to do his best to get the dots out there the blind is going to come out of dandy carry but he is going to trinket that uh, halfway into the blind the nesper is going to be put into that full <coughs> cyclone maldiva still has a dark soul up just trying to set up a, a, a kill here yeah, every single time CC goes out onto, uh, out onto Danny Carey, you definitely see the cross CC going out into Nesper. I love the synergy that this t this brand new team is bringing to the table already. Ty now at 50% health, sitting in the middle map. Got the full polymorph onto Pink Ranger, though. Maldiva and a Horrified taking some damage. Uh, is there any CC to follow it up? Looks like uh, Maldiva's just going to port back. Keep it safe, keep it simple, you know. Dilbadar getting cheap shotted. Nesper doing a good, jo good job peeling his team, uh, or peeling for his team, preventing that damage from coming out. But, uh... Uh, man, you already can see the potential that this God Comp has to offer. You can see the setups that they, that they have available to them. Um, but I feel like Danny Carey, or I'm sorry, not Danny Carey, Pink Rangers always has an Iron Bark available for his team whenever this setup occurs. But Dilbadar taking a little bit of damage as Nesper's just continuously just putting lots of damage into him. Cross CC, Cyclone goes out onto Nesper as Dilbadar's trying to push in, trying to get offensive. He's looking for the fear. There's the Horrify onto Nesper, but he gets feared himself. Deep Freeze goes out onto Pink Rangers, and it looks like it's going to get, oh, the ring gets Cyclone so they can't follow it up. Double Fear goes on to Maldiva and Pink Rangers. Nesper is in a 3v1 at this point. Danny Carey looks like he's taking some damage, but Iron Bark and Bear Form comes out for him. It looks like he's going to be okay for now, but Nesper is still the focus target. Kidney Shot goes out onto Danny Carey. Danny Carey might be in trouble, but he is in Bear Form. That is Killing Spree, but Nesper is at 60% health. Yeah, Nesper is starting to take a little bit of damage here. Pink Rage is going to be put into that full poly there, but the the Trinket is actually going to come out. The Trinket and the NS is going to come out from Pink Rangers. Um, Danny Carey is going to be put into that full bash there. Uh, uh, Dark Soul is going to come out from Eldiva, just trying to spam out as many UAs as possible, as many haunts as possible. Once he has UAs and haunts and a bunch of dots on all the targets, they, they just start dying, man. It, it's so much damage. Uh, uh, Maldiva is still spamming out those haunts. Dark Soul is going to come up pretty soon here. Everybody just kind of dying on I Am The Dilbadar, and we are going to start getting into dampening here, so this is exactly where all Dream Team wants to, to have them. The offensive block is going to come out from Timelia there, and he's going to put Pink Rangers into a full ring there. Really, really good play by Timelia there. Trinket is going to come out from Timelia. It looks like Nesper is going to be the target here. Full clone onto Maldiva. The silence is going to go on to Pink Rangers. Nesper is getting pretty low here. Is this going to be the setup that they're going to look for? Pink Rangers is going to be put into that full fear there. He could be going down here, but the cloak is going to come out from Nesper. Really, really close game. Are they going to have a follow-up for Pink Rangers? But Nesper is going to be put into that full cyclone there just to stop some of the healing coming from Pink Rangers. Are they going to have a follow-up CC for Pink Rangers? It does not look like it. Polymorph Cyclone is coming out. Nesper is starting to sit pretty low. Do they have damage out enough to kill Nesper here? 35%. It does not look like they're going to have the damage. The NS is going to come out from Pink Rangers on an Esper. That was a really, really close call for RL Dream Team, and they are going to be able to stabilize. Wow, love that setup coming out from the Dilbadar. Let's see him do that a few more times. Nesper now, that's 6% dampening, just sitting on Dilbadar, really just getting all of those combo points being spent, trying to get those killing sprees back up as soon as possible. Dilbadar taking a little bit of damage, but Danny Carey's not in any CC, so Dilbadar's not in any trouble anytime soon. Nesper in a horrify, just really preventing uh, into a full bash out of that. They might be going on somebody else here. Howl goes out onto both both a DPS for I am the Dilbadar, but it looks like they're going to be okay from here. Pink Ranger now in a full fear. Could Nesper take any damage here? Doesn't look like it quite yet, but uh, Timelia really, really showing his stripes here. I mean, uh, offensive blocking, getting the CC that he needs to. Dilbadar in a kidney shot. Nothing too, too significant yet, as that was Iron Bark Force onto Dilbadar, though. Uh, but, I mean, you definitely can see that Timelia is pushing in, making sure to get this, this CC change going on to Pink Ranger, allowing his team to set up. As I say that, he puts Pink Ranger into a full ring, and Nesper's a little bit overextended. 
Senate. The cross CC on the Maldiva. It's a 3v1 versus Nesper. Orb coming out on, onto Nesper at this point. Nesper is just taking so, so much damage. Pink Ranger in a silence. He's at 50% health here, and Orb is still going down. Uh, is that Nature Swiftest? No, not yet. Nesper could be in some trouble. The offensive cycle and keeping Nesper low is exactly what I'm Dilbadar needs to do to win this game. Yeah, so it looks like Pink Rangers is going to be able to, to stabilize his team here. Nesper's still taking a little bit of damage. Full Fear comes out on the Pink Rangers, but that is going to be the Trinket and the Iron Bar coming out from Pink Rangers. I mean, he, he's just a little bit scared now, but they didn't have much CC going on for them, so I'm not exactly sure about that Trinket. Pink Rangers is going to be put in that full deep, but it's not like he's going to have, uh, you know, in, in any more CC going after him. Nesper taking a little bit of damage here. Uh, I Am the Dilbadar is just starting to, to die from dots here. Maldiva just doing his best to keep up the dots. Nesper taking a little bit of damage here, just trying to live... Um, <clears throat> And it looks like hopefully I am the Dilbar is, is going to be able to get a good setup. Full poly is going to go onto Maldiva, but it is going to be dispelled into another poly there. The uh, big heal is going to go onto Nesper there. He is going to get polyed as well. The killing spree is going to come out from Nesper. It looks like they're going to be hitting Dilbadar there. He's going to come out of that full kidney, but Dilbadar sitting really low here. The disperse is going to have to come out, and Danny Carey is going to hopefully be able to top him back up, trying to spam out the Cyclones to peel for his partner, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get it. And hopefully they're, they're still they're still getting pretty low, but hopefully they're going to be able to top themselves back up. Yeah, Nesper definitely focusing on Timely. Dilbadar in a bomb. This could be it. His disperse is down. Nesper in a fear, and that's all she wrote. RLD Dream Team will advance.